I have people that I know that don't believe that this is true and people that I know think that the hospital isn't telling the truth. And that makes me means that I'm not telling the truth. And so it hurts a little bit. That was St. Luke's Magic Valley nurse Ryan Sharp from last November, right before the peak of the COVID pandemic here in Idaho, talking about what she was facing there at the hospital. And you can hear it in her voice. Ryan was sad, tired, frustrated and angry. Those emotive words were also how she began an open letter to her community that she posted on Facebook back on November 13th, six months ago today. That day, she was at her wits end, frustrated as you could hear with people not wearing masks, not taking the coronavirus seriously, and frankly, making light of the work hospitals were having to do. And in a hospital like St. Luke's Magic Valley, the only such healthcare facility for more than 100 miles in any direction, it was overwhelming. Not that it's over yet, but we have gone from hundreds of people hospitalized with COVID-19 to dozens since we spoke with Ryan. So with Nurses Week wrapping up this week, we wanted to check back in with Ryan to see if and how things have improved for her and her colleagues. I feel like the community is giving up on us. I feel like, um, I, yeah. Nurse Ryan Sharp's poignancy was palpable six months ago. Yes, but this week, Anytime, I'm happy to. A more optimistic mood. Well, first of all, how are you? I'm good. Last time we spoke to you was because of what you posted on social media and, and kind of basically a letter to the public. Yeah. And you started that with the words sad, tired, frustrated, and angry. Are you still in that frame of mind or are you moved past that? I mean, we're still tired. Um, our small, small community, especially, um, the COVID numbers are down, but our like we're still busier than ever. So we're still tired, but um, I still get sad when I think about 2020 and my COVID patients and the people that I took care of in that time, but better than that day that I posted that. The frustrations that you were having were with people not taking it seriously, not um, wearing masks or not even believing that this is a real thing. Do you think that we've moved past that a little bit or that people have accepted it a little bit more? No, I think um, with our COVID numbers being down, people like the people who didn't believe in it to begin with are just like still brushing it off like it wasn't that big of a thing. You wanted everybody to check on their friends in the medical field that you are not okay. And sometimes we feel like we only have each other. I'm so thankful for my coworkers that continue to show up and do work. Couldn't do it without you guys. Would you consider yourselves and yourself as doing okay? Right now? Yes, I would. I think the pandemic brought us um, closer together than ever. We had to rely on each other in ways that we didn't think that we were going to have to. And we needed each other in those moments. And I think since then, it's definitely better. We're, we are united is the best way to put it. If you're to look back on just the last six months of what you've had to deal with, what comes to mind? Oh... When I look back and I think about just this last six months, I think relief. There has been a light at the end of the tunnel starting six months ago that has slowly gotten closer and closer for us for COVID and the, you know, having a vaccine, having kind of that means to an end, not that it's a um, going to be a quick end to this, but I think it's definitely given us hope and helped us to realize that the end is closer than it was. If you were to rewrite something and put it out there for the general public, what would the theme be, you think? What would you want people to know? I would want people to know that um, COVID is still around. Um, it's not gone. No matter what you believe or what you see, we do still have patients that are fighting this virus. We still have people that are coming in because of side effects from this virus long-term. And so just be safe. Ryan also said she would put something in that letter about mental health and how the pandemic and lockdown have taken their toll. She says not enough people talk to somebody about what they've been through with this. Ryan says she's lucky she's had her mom to talk to over the last year. Her mom is an ICU nurse in the same hospital, by the way, so she understands how hard it has been. 
and she's even seen more difficult situations. When we last spoke with Ryan, the one thing she said she would change would be allowing families back into the hospital to be bedside with the patients. And they have started doing that, and it has helped. And while she is still in that float pool where she works wherever she is needed over the last three months, Ryan has been training to move into the labor and delivery union. And as she said, as a nurse, you help people on their worst day and their best day. 2020 was hard, she said. She's done the worst day stuff. For 2021, Ryan's ready for that best day stuff in labor and delivery.